Decadence is taking the ordinary and making it extraordinary. Decadence is taking what you might think as leftovers and creating magic. Decadence is taking yourself and putting her first. Decadence is a journey. It's an exploration. It's not just a destination. It's learning how to retake care of yourself. It's learning about doing for you in a way that feels good. Not in a way that feels like a compromise. Not in a way that feels like you're cheating. It's pure satisfaction. It is indulging. It is splurging. It is living lavishly. And why wouldn't you? That's decadence. And so in decadence in the series, as the food relationship coach, I take food and we explore it in different ways. We explore food from a beautifying perspective. We explore food from a nourishing perspective. We explore food from a sensual and spiritual perspective. We explore food. And not just sitting down and eating and getting ourselves full. Not that type of full. We're getting full though. Full off of energy. Full off of life. Full off of a, a love, a devotion to ourselves. And so at Decadence, what can you expect? You can expect a global tasting party <laughs> catered by the food relationship coach, me, me, of Naturi Beauty. You can also expect a kitchen chemist series where you become your own kitchen chemist. What is a kitchen chemist? A kitchen chemist is someone who takes everyday ingredients and creates them into magic. Magic for herself. That is a kitchen chemist. And as an added bonus, we're partnering with Belly Dance Connection in Washington, D.C. So you can expect decadent movement in the form of belly dance and yoga. And if you haven't experienced decadence yet, and you're still wondering what exactly is decadence, listen to a few participants of the past decadence event. The event was great. It was interactive. I liked that. We felt like we were in the middle of a show, a cooking show. But we, it was really interactive, so I really enjoyed it. I thought the event, the chocolate decadence event, was very informational. Definitely something I never would have thought about uh, participating in, so I definitely it was fabulous. I enjoyed cho um, the chocolate pieces that were given. The reason why is because I'm not really a chocolate lover, but watching the creation of what she put in there, such as the cocoa, and also the lip gloss, she made a lip gloss with the brown sugar, the coconut milk. Oh gosh, that looks so good. And then the chocolate, the cocoa chocolate, it gave you like a tin on your lips. I actually enjoyed that. So when I go to lay up bed at night, kiss my babes and mm, with the chocolate on it. So I enjoyed that part of it. Yeah, totally the most part. beneficial part of the chocolate decadence event was learning the um, facial scrub that was only involved three ingredients, like the coconut milk, cocoa powder, and the cornmeal flour. It was awesome. Okay. The facial scrub. I just used it on my hand but it made it so smooth and the thing is the smell. I can imagine putting that on my face in the morning and it would perk me up to go to work. The whole thing about chocolates not just being about the taste but the senses. The smell was just oh, great. I still smell it on my hand, so definitely the facial scrub, that one.